Okay. So Michael before suggested that we come and check out this place. I am sitting here with two bar experts from the city. Sitting to my right is Logan. Logan, you've been here before? I've been here before. I've only been here once before. Yes, about a year ago. And what was your impression? It was the day the Atlantis Cruise comes, which is the big gay boat that comes in once a year. And we had a great time. I was here with friends who were off the boat, so yeah. Biba! Paul, have you been here before? I have been here several times, actually, and it's wonderful. Um, I have not been here this early in the afternoon because it's 6 o'clock, and I tend not to start drinking before 5. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where were we? Um, no, I've been here later in the evening, often after a show at... Act Two Entertainment, because we're right downstairs from Act Two Entertainment, and it's fabulous, and there's always a nice, fun crowd, very mixed. It's, yes. it's, a, it's a nice space. I really like it here. Well, this is my first time, and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to one of the owners, but let me show you around. This is called the Corner Bar, and it's been around for a while. This is the brainstorm of Andre de la Puente, and somebody that I'm about to meet that is a little tied up right now. But let me show you, this is a tiny, cute little place. Um, it's a small corner bar. I like the fact that the TV screen says, let's get un poquito fucked up, a nice combination of languages. And what I have heard about this place is that the wait staff is quite generous with their outfits and I can see that that is the case. Don't spoil my narrative. Uh, but no, it is a cute little place. As you can see, here I am with the microphone. And over here is the bathroom. Hola. Oh, oh, this is where we go. Well, it's good to see that we can go. And this is, this is what the place is. And hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to one of the owners as soon as he takes care of a little something. But at least we've had a chance to look at this cute little space that you can come and enjoy. As long as we are here and recording, what's new in your life, Paul? What's new in my life? Uh, do you mean who or what? Well, whatever you want to share with my audience. <laughs> well, oh, we have a new menu coming out at Hotel Mercurio, which is going to be fabulous. We have uh, some new uh, vegetarian and, and vegan options. And we have a Reuben sandwich that is going to be fabulous because we're brining our own brisket and fermenting our own sauerkraut. Yeah. And we have a Thai shrimp burger with ginger and toasted sesame, and that's going to be fabulous too. So I'm excited about our new menu. Wait, what, what, um, not, not to steal the thunder from your, your, your video about the corner bar, which is where we are here enjoying. This is okay. I mean, we are here in Emiliano Zapata, the only neighborhood in Puerto Vallarta that has, what, 50-something LGBT businesses and not a single supermarket. Yeah. Well, you know, if we could get a, a Mack truck in here to supply a supermarket on these narrow cobblestone streets, that could change, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Logan, what's new with you? <laughs> Um, what's new with me? Nothing's really new. I'm, I'm, we're ready for season. We're ramping up for season. Um, getting in shape for all the busy time. Enjoying this last little bit of quiet, uh, rainy, stormy weather. And looking forward for the, definitely for the weather to change, for sure. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> well, nothing's new with me other than the fact that we are out bar hopping at 6 o'clock in the evening. We're taking the matinee shift. We are enjoying ourselves, and I know that this place is going to become really lively, but not just yet. No, that's not true. We are here, so it's lively. It's lively already. Yeah. But this is a cute little space. It's air-conditioned. It's uh, right next to Act 2 Entertainment. Look at that. I mean, this is just nice to look at. Anyhow, 
This is us, and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to one of the owners who seems to be a little bit tied up right now, but hopefully we'll get to that later on. Okay, so we have one of the owners now, and he's sitting in front of me, and we're gonna hear all the blow by blow because we have, what is your name? Chuck Suda. Chuck, how did you end up here owning a bar? With Andre, right? With Andre, yeah. Andre's uh, my best friend, and uh, we've always decided we were gonna open a business together, and. We designed and opened this now 12 months ago. Uh, next month it'll be 12 months, so. How long have you been in Puerto Vallarta? Uh, I've lived here now full time for two years, but uh, my husband and I have been coming down for 12 years, so. And we love this city, so. Had you been a business owner in town before, or is this uh, a new venture? No, but my husband owns Renew next door, um, and we both own businesses back in the US, so. Experienced business owners. So what has been like your biggest pleasure of running the bar? Uh, just the reception that people have gotten from it. Um, they said Vallarta had been missing something like this, and uh, it's just been well received. We found if people come down their first day of vacation, they come here every night. So it's been rewarding to see stuff like that. So, Okay, you opened the door for a loaded question. Uh oh. That's okay. No, no, but I'm curious about this because, you know, this neighborhood has how many gay bars do we have? We have like 20 something. And you say to me that people have been looking for something like this. So my loaded question is, what makes your bar different than all the others? Why would anyone choose to come and hang out at your bar and not some of the others? Well, so for me, um, there's all my favorite bars in Chicago. I tried to combine into one. One, there was a bar called Mini Bar, and they had these beautiful shirtless bartenders, but they were not friendly. So I decided I wanted to have a bar that was shirtless bartenders who were super friendly. And I wanted a place with great drinks and a place where you could just come and hang out with your friends or meet new people. And that's what people have done here. They, they, everyone becomes friends when they come to this bar. So You seem to have accomplished that because your staff is very nice looking. <laughs> Let me ask you one final question. Is there something that you want people to know about your bar that we haven't talked about? Um, I'd just say come check out the corner bar and you'll see why everybody loves it. So, Well, there you have it. That was our quick and dirty here at the corner bar. Thank you very much. Thanks, this is the corner bar as suggested by Michael Buford. And uh, ciao. <laughs>